this is Gwen and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing everyone a super quick and easy tutorial on how to upcycle your old clothes and transform them into reusable facial cotton rounds. I've been wanting to upcycle this pajamas set that I made way back in 2017 for a while. The fabric has turned really worn and faded after three years of constant wearing and washing. I got the idea of making reusable facial cotton rounds because A, I've been working on making more sustainable lifestyle changes and B, I found this slightly stained t-shirt in my fabric stash in a coordinating colour that will go perfectly with the pyjamas fabric. And now let's get to sewing! First, draft the pattern. Basically, it's a circle. I used a little glass cup to trace the circle out with a pen and paper. Then, I cut the paper pattern out with a pair of scissors. And my circle has a diameter, diameter of about 7.5 centimeters. To cut the fabric pieces out, pin the pattern to the fabric, then cut around it using a pair of sharp fabric scissors. If you want to try to be a little bit more efficient in your cutting, uh, you can actually start by cutting little squares or rectangles that are just slightly bigger than the circle, layer a few of the pieces together and then cut all of the circles out. Ta -da! In this video, I cut a total of 8 pieces of patterned fabric and 16 pieces of jersey fabric. To get the pieces ready for sewing, you want to pin the layers for each facial round together. I'm using two layers of the pink t-shirt jersey and one layer of the floral fabric to make one facial round. Don't forget to pick a thread colour to go with your patterned fabric. I decided to use pink for this project and I think it's a pretty obvious choice. <laughs> and now we're gonna start sewing the facial rounds together. Sew zigzag stitches all around the edge of each facial round. To make the stitches really neat and tight, I recommend using a stitch length that is shorter than average and a stitch tension that is higher than your average tension. Make sure the stitches from the start and end of each round overlap so the stitches won't unravel too easily. At the end of sewing, you might find that your facial rounds look a little bit like lettuce leaves. But that can be fixed really easily by just giving it a quick press under a hot steam iron. And voila! They're done! I made eight reusable facial cotton rounds for this video but I still have quite a bit of fabric left so I think I'm gonna make a few more um, you know in a couple of weeks or so uh, I'm so excited to finally have my own reusable facial cotton rounds because I've been wanting some for a long time and I'm so glad that I was able to use like something that I already have instead of buying new materials to make this project um, I hope you like this video and I hope whatever I've said has been useful. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask me a question on anything. I'll try to help as much as I can. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. I hope to share more sewing related uh, videos and other DIY stuff on this channel. Um, see you around. <laughs>